2020 has been one heck of a year. <laughs> so, so we're going to review some of our favorite trips that we were able to take in 2020. The Fab Five. When 2020 began, I called it the year of perfect vision. <laughs> I wish that was the, be the best thing I could say about 2020 now that it's all said and done. So, yeah. But I can honestly say that we did have a good camping year. Uh, we d were robbed of our one great out-of-state adventure this year, our planned trip down to Tampa, Florida. Yes. Uh, but we took the advantage of being confined a little bit closer to home to, to really explore our home neck of the woods, the central Savannah River area. Our own backyard. Yep. <laughs> and I think we will start our five most enjoyable experiences of the year with Wildwood County Park, uh, Wildwood Park, excuse me, a county park over mm -hmm. in Columbia County. That was our first county park experience. That's right. And I think what I liked most about that trip was our site's location within the park. That's true. I like the fact that we had a waterfront site and we were able to go kayaking. Mm -hmm. Or which, banana boating. <laughs> right, with our inflatable kayak. Uh, neither one of us had, I believe, been kayaking mm, before, so we were uh, noobs at that as well. I really liked that we had a full, actually a little bit more than a week. I think we had, what, eight days and That's seven right. nights. So we, we, we had a full week. Uh, as I've said in a previous video, you know, you know over, overnight, a weekend is not enough. Well, no. believe me, a week is wonderful. Yes, it was great. It was great <laughs> being able to, to completely unwind and relax and get into camping mode and not have to worry about, oh, I've got to start breaking down because yes. tomorrow we're pulling out. So that, that was a wonderful part of it. Mm -hmm. We were also able to meet the wandering wags during that week. They were in the area and we were able to have a meet up with them and got to spend some time with Dustin and Leslie, which was great. Good to count them as friends now. <laughs> so moving on to number four and back on the South Carolina side, we went to Lake Hartwell State Park. That was Labor Day. That was Labor, Labor Day, Day weekend. weekend. That was mm -hmm. great, yeah. I loved Lake Hartwell more than I thought we would. Um, mm -hmm. Because that was our Labor Day trip, I was kind of braced for it to be a raucous, noisy, party hardy right, right. <laughs> lakeside camping experience. But uh, we were pleasantly surprised we with were. how, I mean, there were some kids playing, that's fine, but we were pleasantly surprised with how sedate and, and relaxing it was there. We just assumed with the, you know, lake park that mm -hmm. it might be a little wild and crazy time, but it was very nice. We It was quieter than we expected for how holiday weekend and we got to enjoy some of the surrounding sites and of nature. Real close to some uh, waterfall and state state historic sites that we got to visit. That was nice. Mm -hmm. I liked how lush and green mm -hmm. the park was too. The, you know, the sites were not terribly far apart. They weren't, right. they weren't piled up on top of each other either, but there was so much greenery between the sites that it, it really added felt, to the sense of privacy. Yeah, I, it did. It I felt like, like you had a little more screening between the, the sites. Our third favorite camping experience of the year took us back across to the Georgia side to <laughs> Elijah Clark State Park over in, uh, is that Appling? That's Appling, Georgia. Right. Uh, really, really thought Elijah Clark was pretty. Uh, we not heard a lot about it before we went there. No, um, that's true. The two camping loops there. I think we kind of lucked out in that we got the loop that was a little bit more open to the lake. There wasn't quite as much greenery screening right. from the from the lake. So we, our our waterfront site, we got to catch a lot of lakeside breeze, which was good because it was so Ooh, yes. bloody hot that July weekend. Ooh, <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> But the scenery definitely made up for it. And, and along with all the uh, amenities that were there on site, it almost felt like a resort type park, but it was still a state park since there were um, historic, there was a historic site right there in the park. Mm -hmm. uh, and they had um, many golf course. I mean, there were just certain things that were available, probably more so during normal non-COVID 
era times. Yeah, I was drawn to breath to say that we had to peek in the windows <laughs> of the camp store. It looked like a very nice facility, but of course we couldn't go inside. Yeah. So um, we'll have to check that out some other time. Uh, pretty swim beach there. That would have been very That's nice. Right, uh, right, yeah. We we didn't go swimming. Well, we swam at our site. We didn't go mm -hmm. to, the, but the swim beach there looked very nice. So that was a, a draw for another time. Maybe. Mm -hmm. so. Number two on our list is Petersburg. It's a Corps of Engineers campground on the Georgia side. Mm -hmm. But oddly enough, one of the things we really liked about that place was the smooth black top. <laughs> Pulling our camper in, it was like rolling on glass. It was great. And believe after after pulling a rig across some washboard, dirt, mud pocked places <laughs> that shall remain nameless, Baker Creek State Park. That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful just gliding in and gliding mm -hmm. out on departure day. It was fantastic. Yes, it was. Uh, again, not to be repetitious, but Petersburg also had a fantastic looking swim beach. Uh, only one of us got to take advantage of it this trip, um, and I hear tell that it was fantastic. It was. It was great. <laughs> I was there a few extra days with some of my friends. We had a girls trip, and we thoroughly enjoyed our uh, time at the swim beach. Of course, we were there during the week, so it was a uh, very limited amount of people there. I'm sure on a weekend it would be much more populated. Um, but we enjoyed it a lot. And we didn't get to take advantage of Bartram Trail, the, the mm, relatively famous true. hiking trail that uh, either begins, or well, probably begins and ends right there at Petersburg. Mm -hmm. it's, it's miles and miles and miles of hiking through the, yeah. the woods and countryside around there. And, and that will be something we'll utilize on a future trip. There. And we will be going back. Yes, we really enjoyed it. We had some friends that, you know, told us about it and we joined them on a trip, uh, which you may have seen in our video. Which brings us to number one, <laughs> our number one most favorite enjoyed experience camping wise in 2020 was Mistletoe, Mistletoe State, State Park. Park. <laughs> that is also an Appling, Georgia address uh, on Lake Thurman, of course. Uh, that was our return to camping, so to speak. Mm -hmm. That was after our two and a half and four, two and a half months, excuse me, enforced shutdown as the That's COVID right. crisis struck. And we were just so thrilled to be going anywhere <laughs> that right. probably had you added to the enjoyment of the experience a lot. Uh, that was a pull through site of, I thought, a very lovely location. Yes, it was. A um, little bit more tree foliage hanging over. Kind of blocking our view. our view a little bit. But if that's the worst I've got to say about the whole yeah. experience, then I guess that's pretty good. <laughs> It was really uh, nice to have different hiking trails there. Great hiking, um, yeah. A lot of different choices of trails, mm -hmm. uh, whether it was you know on foot or bike. Really, really liked. Once again, I think we lucked out um, at least two camping loops there at Mistletoe, and I, mm -hmm. we observed while we were there. We think the other loop was the party loop. Well, <laughs> as we said that there were more amenities for families and children and things like that on the other loop, which probably made it a little noisier. That little amphitheater yeah. was over there. Yes. there were, I think there were more chances to put in a boat on that side. So That's true too, yeah, yes. So. Uh, clean mm -hmm. uh, bathhouse facilities oh, there. Oh, yes. Um, I don't recall if I ever used them. I, well, I had to because I saw them. But I, well, as far as like going into bathing, I, mean, I probably went in no. to go potty once or twice. But, <laughs> but uh, you, you walk a little bit, we saw them. They were in, in terrific shape, were real clean for a, st for a state park. They were real clean. Mm -hmm, definitely. And the sites themselves were uh, really nice and spacious. We had, you know, even though they were, again, a little bit close together, our particular loop seemed to have a little more space than the other loop. So that made it nice too. That's our five favorite camping experiences of 2020. Not that we had any bad ones really, but that's, no. that's the five that we enjoyed the most. You'll notice that all of them, as we said at the outset, are here in our local base of operation to the central Savannah River area. Uh, one of the things we discovered in 2020 is there th that there are lots more places around right. here that we are yet to discover, and we will be getting to some of them in 2021. Hopefully, we'll be getting to a few others outside oh, the Savannah, <laughs> central Savannah River area. So until then, continue to follow us on social media. 
uh, subscribe and follow along, like this video, share with your friends, because we will continue to uh, adventure in 2021. And force you to watch. <laughs> and hey, let's hope we all get some great opportunities to do some living and learning in the coming year.